Small compact trucks are all the rage today. The problem is that all the current options available on the market are super limited. Pretty much, it's either the Ford Maverick or the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Doors wide open for new compact trucks to enter the market, and major car makers are jumping on it. Rumors are already swirling around the car industry about some possible new compact trucks that may be making its way here to the States. Today, we're looking at a few prospective compact trucks. If or when we can expect to see them here in America, and how they'll stack up to the competition. To put things into perspective, let's look at the Ford Maverick. I'm using this as a benchmark because right now it's very popular and it's selling like hotcakes, if you can find one. Sales data from earlier this year show that overall Maverick sales were up 161.4%. Right now, this tiny truck is Ford's cheapest vehicle in its lineup, and Ford is having a hard time keeping up with the demand. The 2023 base model starts at 22595 and that's for a hybrid system, which comes as standard. But mind you, a few months ago, Ford announced they're shaking things up with the upcoming 2024 model. One of the biggest changes with the 2024 model is that the hybrid drivetrain no longer comes as standard. Rather, it's a $1,500 option. So now, 2024 base XL trim starts at 234 but if you want hybrid, you're looking at $24,900. Right now, the 2023 Ford Maverick XL Hybrid offers impressive fuel economy. I'm talking 42 miles a gallon in the city, 33 on the highway, and 37 combined. Now, depending on who you ask, some will say the hybrid is basically a stopgap to delay the transition to full electrification. Others will say it eases the transition to electrification. Whatever your opinion about hybrids is, one thing we can all agree on is the U.S. isn't ready for Americans to electrify immediately right now. We need more time, and that's where hybrids come in. For example, the Maverick has overtaken the Nissan Frontier. While the Maverick sales are up about 10% compared to 2022, the Nissan Frontier has actually seen a 21% dip in its popularity on the market. The Frontier's infotainment system has been criticized for its outdated look and its little crew 33-inch cab legroom. The Maverick's rear row offers almost 36 inches of legroom and has more legroom for front seat riders too. Another truck that the Maverick has overtaken is the Chevy Colorado. Don't get me wrong, the Chevy Colorado is a lot stronger than the Ford Maverick. Fully equipped, the Chevy Colorado can tow 7,700 pounds. A Ford Maverick, on the other hand, can only tow a maximum of 4,000 pounds, and that's with its newly available Turbo 4 engine. The difference is in cabin quality. Despite its higher price tag models, you can still see all black plastic panels inside the Colorado. While the Maverick has similar black panels, the layout has been praised for its overall smoother and more eye catching look in the Maverick. The Maverick also has overtaken the Jeep Gladiator. True, the Jeep Gladiator has sold more units than many of its rivals this year, but its overall popularity has seen a 30% drop. The Gladiator also happens to be the most expensive truck in its segment. The Gladiator's base price is $38,995. Believe it or not, even a fully loaded Maverick Lariat costs less than the cheapest Jeep Gladiator. Also, the Gladiator's 218 inches of length can make it difficult to maneuver on tight trails or parking spaces. The Ford Maverick, on the other hand, is barely even too 200 inches long. All of this is to say, the success of the Maverick has caught the attention of other car makers. There's a lot of rumors and requests for more compact trucks to join the market. For example, believe it or not, Toyota dealerships have requested headquarters to bring a compact truck into the U.S. market. There's no official word yet from Toyota either way, but Toyota's mulling over it. In fact, Toyota General Manager Dave Kreiss said that Toyota's been following the Maverick very closely. He acknowledged that in recent decades, pickup trucks in America have gotten bigger. It's the reason why today the Tundra and Tacoma are larger than the first pickup truck Toyota bought to the States. Some speculate, and are hopefully wishing for, the Toyota Stout to hit the American roads. If we go back a few decades, some of us saw the original Toyota Tacoma Stout back in 1964. Compact trucks were rare back then. Here's the thing. Compact trucks usually share a platform with crossovers. And right now, Toyota's crossover sales are strong. So it's in a really good position to design and retrofit a compact truck. There's speculation that Toyota may bring the Stout back to the U.S. by 2025 as part of Toyota's electrification strategy. Whether it's a full battery electric or a hydrogen fuel cell variant, Toyota is strategically competing when it comes to pricing. As you can imagine, a reintroduced Stout will stay competitive in pricing compared to the Ford Maverick. I'm guessing the start range of about 20 Three grand with higher trims hitting 30 grand. Consider too how Toyota in generally retain high resale values. I'm sure the stop will deliver on that too. 
Anyway, recent rumors started after Toyota filed to register the Stout name to be used in Argentina. The thing is, trademarking a name doesn't necessarily guarantee it'll be used, especially in the American market. Toyota officials have downplayed the possibility of a compact pickup, saying it currently doesn't have anything planned. That said, Toyota acknowledged that a smaller truck is something Toyota is considering when it can potentially help with the increasingly strict fuel economy standards. Right now, the Toyota Tundra and Tacoma are very large. The shortest Tundra is 233.6 inches long and has a 145.7 inch wheelbase. Not the kind of truck you want when it comes to stricter and stricter fuel economy standards. Despite Toyota downplaying a possible upcoming compact truck, it hasn't stopped the rumor mill from swirling about a possible Toyota compact truck entering the American market in the next few years. It also hasn't stopped dealers from clamoring for one either. Whether or not Toyota listens is another story. True, Toyota never explicitly confirmed a new compact truck that could maybe one day surpass the Maverick in sales, but Toyota has not ruled it out either. Another rumor states that Toyota could base its possible compact pickup truck off of its Corolla. If it were to be released, it would be looking at a possible release date of 2027 and a starting MSRP of around 27 grand. Toyota would probably opt to build a compact truck here in the States rather than building it in Japan and shipping it over in order to avoid the U.S. import taxes. Right now, there are many eyes on a Chevy Montana. The Montana is actually Chevy's first compact unibody pickup, and Chevy's marketing it as a compact truck, the functionality of a pickup, comfort of a crossover. Recently, all new 2024 Chevy Montana officially arrived in Mexico. Interestingly, in Mexico, it's available in two distinctive trim levels. The LT trim is immediately available, and the RS trim will be forthcoming in the near future. It carries a lot of the same design cues as a Chevy Blazer, and it has a multi-flex cargo bed. Now, Chevy isn't gunning for the title of most powerful pickup for the Montana, obviously. We're talking a 1.2 liter turbo that generates a minus 133 horsepower and 155 foot-pounds of torque. So it's not going to really turn heads, but it's intended for a specific purpose and use. Right now, the Montana is a truck you cannot buy in the States. As of now, the smallest offering the GMC has is a GMC Canyon in a Chevy Colorado. But those aren't really small, compact trucks. My bet is that if the Maverick's popularity continues, it wouldn't be a far stretch to imagine Chevy bringing the Montana to American soil. Now, all that said, I can say recently that a test model of the 2024 Ram Rampage was spotted in America. Right now, Ram is rolling it out in South America, but the good news is that it's expected to hit American soil sometime soon. If you take the Ram 1500 and shrink it, that's pretty much the Ram Rampage, which is called the Ram 1200 in foreign markets. Its exterior carries all of Ram's signature design features like a bold grille and robust body lines. Fans are also hoping for more cargo room and standard off-roading tires, too. The most interesting rumors, though, we have to do with the Rampage powertrain. Rumor is the 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder Tiger Shark engine will come as standard, but there may be an option for a powerful V6 engine, and of course, some folks will hope there's a hybrid option too. When it comes to a price tag, the speculation will probably be priced near 26 grand to keep it competitive with the Ford Maverick. There's also talk about the 2023 Kia Compact Truck. That is to say, it should hit the American market as early as 2025. Right now, it doesn't even have an official name yet. But when people ask Kia's CEO about the possibility of making a pickup truck, he said he'd welcome it with widespread arms. Sounds pretty promising, right? That's all it took to get the rumor mill spinning. Now, I'm going to be honest, there isn't all that much information about the truck yet. All we have are a handful of drawings and renders of what this compact Kia truck would look like if the the renders proved to be true, you're looking at an upcoming modern compact pickup truck that'll be based on the Kia Sportage. What that means is that the compact pickup will follow a similar pattern of offering a 2.4 liter four-cylinder and a 2 liter turbo four-cylinder engine. I'm talking anywhere from 180 to 240 horsepower, six-speed automatic tranny, an available front and all-wheel drive. There's also speculation around a Subaru Brat. The acronym Brat stands for Buy, Drive, Recreational, All-Terrain Transporter. You can trace this compact truck back to 1978, making it one of the original compact pickup trucks back in the day. Inspired by the Chevy El Camino and Leon wagon, the Brat was definitely one of Subaru's more interesting trucks. Subaru stopped exporting to the U.S. in 1987, but the idea of a Subaru compact pickup was revived in 2002 in the form of the Subaru Baja. 
Like the Brat, the Baja was based on all-wheel drive Outbacks. You may remember the original Subaru Baja from 02 to 06. The 06 Baja was offered in two trims, Sport and Turbo. Both trims came with a 2.5 flat 4 gasoline powered engine that could pump out anywhere from 165 to 210 horses. The Sport produced 165 horsepower while the Turbo delivered a more thrilling ride with 210 horsepower. For a little extra, the Turbo offered power seats, leather upholstery, a hard cover for the open bed, roof lights, and an extended tailgate to increase the truck's cargo capacity. America hasn't seen a new Subaru Baja since the 2006 model year. That's when Subaru discontinued the pickup due to slow sales. Its problem was that it was priced too close to the much larger F-150 and Chevy Silverado. Right now, if you can find a used Subaru Baja, you're looking at prices ranging anywhere from seven grand to almost $22,000, depending on model, year, and condition. Anyway, gone are the old days. The truck market is different today. The growing popularity of the Ford Maverick indicates there is a growing market for compact pickup trucks. So there's a very strong case for Subaru to build a new compact truck based on the Baja or the Brat. But now you tell me, have you ever owned a compact truck before? Which of the compact trucks from today's video took your attention? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.